In this training video, we will be covering how to schedule learners into rotations. If you do not already have learners added to your Rolodex, block templates added to your schedule, and rotations created, then you will need to review our first three training videos and complete those steps first. Start by clicking on the Schedules tab in the top menu bar, and then click Rotation Schedule on the left sidebar menu. Your list of learners will appear on the left, blocks along the top, and some scheduling lines below that. Click on the name of any student on the left, and the blocks for that student will be highlighted. Click inside the scheduling line on the block where you wish to schedule a rotation. This will make the block turn pink and launch a scheduling box. You will see the name of the student displayed along the top of that box. Below the name, you'll see a list of rotations to choose from. This list pulls from the active rotations from Setup, Manage Rotations. Scroll through the list to select the rotation you wish to add. If you are scheduling only one block of a rotation and don't need to enter any other pieces of information, click Save and the rotation will appear on the schedule for that student. To schedule two or more blocks of rotations consecutively, select the second radio button beside Schedule and expand the drop down menu and choose the total number of blocks the rotation needs to be scheduled for. If you try to schedule rotations into any blocks that already have an activity scheduled, you will get a warning message that tells you your learner is already scheduled into one or more of the blocks you've selected. You will have three choices, to save and override the scheduled blocks, to save this block only, or cancel. To the right of the rotation list, there is a place where you can add preceptors, Clicking on the link at the lower right will launch a search box. My Faculty allows you to search names on your Faculty Rolodex. All Faculty allows you to do a global search of all Faculty. You can also do a quick search by entering the last name of your known preceptor into the search field. Click the name of the preceptor in the middle column to move their name over to the right column, and then click OK at the bottom right. Adding preceptors to your schedule can be useful when setting up your evaluation workflow, which can use schedule matching to send the necessary forms. Lastly, you have the option of adding a note that you can leave private, or you can choose to publish it for either a resident, an attending, or both. When you're done adding your details, click Save. It's important to keep the rotation schedule up to date so that your sendouts are accurate. Making changes in the rotation schedule is easy. Simply find the rotation on the schedule for the learner who requires the change and click on it. This will launch the scheduling box where you can make the necessary changes and save them. If a rotation is being removed and not replaced, click on Remove Rotation at the top of the box and it will clear the block of any scheduled rotation. Unfortunately, you cannot remove consecutive blocks of a scheduled rotation. They must be removed one block at a time. So be sure to remove each block of the rotation as necessary. The system tracks changes to the rotation schedule and this can come in handy if you ever need to do some troubleshooting. Click on the Schedules tab in the top menu bar and then Rotation Change History in the left sidebar menu. Choose the dates you want to review changes for and an Excel spreadsheet will be generated. The information on the spreadsheet includes the dates of the blocks that were changed, the academic year in which the change took place, the type of change that occurred, the program in which the change was made, the rotation that was changed, the date the change happened, the individual who initiated the change, and the learner who was the target of that change. To learn how to use our Schedule Importer tool and quickly schedule rotations for a large cohort of learners, check out our next video in the series on importing a rotation schedule.